Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Canary Islands Seismic Crisis update Tuesday, September 14th, around 9 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. We've been closely monitoring the situation in La Palma, and it has evolved. The uptick is ever apparent. Now, we're going to quickly cover this information with you tonight as we will as the event is ongoing. Now, the volcanic seismic crisis continues to evolve. During the past 24 hours, earthquakes have been moving westward and northward and becoming shallower, the National Geographic Institute reported. This is likely reflecting continued magma intrusions and migration under the surface, supported also by continued deformation of the surface in the same areas as the quakes. In places, the ground has been uplifted 1.5 centimeters, almost one inch. The likelihood of an eruption has thus increased, and the situation is being followed closely, although it is still far from certain whether or not it will result in a new eruption of the volcano. Now, I'll quickly walk you through some of the data. The blue seismic swarm here is from greater than 36 hours ago. The green layer here to the north and the west is from 24 hours ago the yellow is within 12 hours and all of these red quakes are less than 12 hours now an interesting thing happening we'll also show you in a moment there has been a shift in activity now here's the uplift that has been recorded over the last uh 36 or so hours and it's quite substantial in the last 24 uh, which means that the likelihood of an eruption is increasing. Now, here we are live over at the seismograms uh, coming directly from Spain on La Palma. And you can just see the sheer number of quakes in the swarm. The largest seismic swarm since the last eruption in the 70s. Now, we just showed you that the progression was moving north and west until earlier today. The last 12 hours is all of these quakes up in the north here. But the activity has moved back to the south. In the last hour or so, about three or four quakes have been happening in this southern region, as if there is a cycle of the, of the magma intrusion that is now repeating. The number of quakes is completely epic, and we're going to keep a close eye on the, this activity and we'll report in the morning if there's any changes or later tomorrow if need be. But the swarm is ongoing. The potential for an eruption is very high, probably around 50% at this point. And the eruptive index of La Palma is typically VEI2. So hopefully this VEI2 may be a new vent forming here or we'll see the seismic swarm move up to the older caldera. Does anyone's guess what's happening? But because of all of the real-time scientific data we have, we can follow this and cover this in great detail, albeit some of us have to sleep. But it's, it's anyone's guess what will happen here. You know, there's a very high likelihood that this swarm will just stop. And this is another phase in the intrusion of the magma beneath this volcano. But based on the number of seismic swarms and activity, in this region, the likelihood of an eruption is quite high. So we're keeping a close eye on it. Also, the Gradelschwal volcano activity is back on track after seven days of calm, illuminating the sky over Grindavik, as we called it two days before the official announcement of the eruption, based on this telemetry here and the uptick in seismicity. And then boom, and that could be the same thing we're seeing here. So, fingers crossed. Now, the video I put out earlier on the potential for the mega tsunami. Ladies and gentlemen, let me clarify that the, the chances for a mega tsunami are very low, albeit they're there. And it has happened before. And a lot of scientists want to attack me and saying that I'm scaring the public for no reason. The, the video I made yesterday, I implored you not to be scared, but to be prepared. This is a real scenario based on real science, based on peer-reviewed papers, and people want to, well, they just want to poo-poo it. So, there it is. Take a look at this seismic swarm. Even if the volcano erupts on this island, there are 
tens of thousands of people currently in close proximity to this volcano. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. In a dystopian world where warning the public of natural disasters that will eventually happen is a bad thing. That's a boom. Stick with the winners. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Become a Patreon. And be a hero. Support the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. And that's a boom. We love you. Be safe. Nah, 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 nah.